Hey Karma Cadets, so I'm a very amazing jungle of sorts. I'm at the Dubai Airport, which because of a series of unfortunate events, I will be spending the next 14 hours in Thailand. So now I have two choices. I can either stuff my weight in McDonald's fries, which is awesome, or I can actually find out about Dubai, which is crazy because I'm staying at 14 hours and I can't get out. And the only thing I know about this country is of the Burj Khalifa, which is horribly good. So what I've decided to do is, and to show you guys, is I'm going to go around this airport, make a fool of myself probably, um, and ask people questions I think I would be able to answer if I had had the chance to visit Dubai. Um, so, oh my god, let's see how this goes awesome and I'm just going to ask him a few questions, a quick turn around because I'm not allowed to take videos of people who work at the airport but um, so how long have you been living in Dubai for? I was born and raised here. Oh really? That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Um, so what do you do in weekends? Like what do you do on your weekends? Do you I just... party. You party? I drink like a fish. Okay. And I club. So like the clubbing yes. culture in Dubai is awesome I'm guessing. Like is it really good? Yes. It is. Yeah? We have some fine clubs, one okay. of the best hotels in the world yeah. is in Dubai. What do you do in the, on your weekends? Over here? Yeah. Okay, that's a very good Tricky person. question. Yeah. We usually prefer to just sleep because we do a lot of shift duty. Okay. So we just like to sleep. Otherwise, we have a lot of beautiful places in Dubai. Uh, like the Palm Jumeirah, the JBR. You should actually visit So, I love food and um, I'm from Singapore and I live in London. So, whenever I'm homesick, I always miss some kind of food. Do you miss, like, let's say if you were to leave Dubai, would you miss something? Uh, Harissa. Harissa. Okay. It's very famous. You will get more in Ramadan. And okay. then in their weddings also, yeah. Harissa is must. They will put the Harissa dish. Uh, oh, okay. It's like Halim. It's not Halim actually, but yeah. they put, you know, they how they make it's very different. They yeah. just put the whole goat yeah. in the ground uh -huh. and they, they put the spice in something and then they cook, like halim. Oh, okay. But they put the whole goat inside the ground. Okay. And they, it's uh, cooked in the, from the sand, not okay. in the burn. I must admit, even though Aya and Mariva, who were the two women I just met, were lovely and a little bit shy, uh, a lot of other people aren't really being cooperative. They're a bit shy or they don't know what to say. But let's keep on going. Look how pretty it is. And my lovely friends have told me that this is apparently what women wear to like parties and stuff. And I can so totally imagine why it is. I want one. <laughs> Meet my friend. Hey guys, so this is, I think, uh, the end of my ever adventures here at Dubai. It's me. Six hours in, and I think I quite liked it. It basically combined two of my favorite things, which is meeting people and traveling. So, ta da! Um, even though there were some issues along the way, like I didn't interview people who I was interviewing because of airport regulations, which is why you can see this face a lot. And apologies in advance. Um, also, people were quite shy, but I think after talking to them um, and like just talking to them in general about stuff, they warmed up to it, which is great. And I actually got to learn quite a lot about this place, which is not just painted glass anymore, but I learned about things that surprised me, like the drinking culture, um, beautiful things like the dresses, and the food that seemed to be mesmerizing, and I really would like to visit again. Uh, but that's about it for now, and yeah, see you guys!